Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm doing another bookstore vlog and this is more of like a book thrifting day because I'm really excited. I'm at the one of the county library branches near me and I don't know if this is like something they do at a lot of libraries around the country but Basically what they are doing today, it's called Friends of the County Library Book Sale and I think they just have like a bunch of used books that are super discounted. So basically like book thrifting. They used to have a store that they always sold these books in but if you watch my last bookstore vlog I mentioned that they recently closed which was really sad but I was happy to find out that they kind of do this sort of sale like every month or so. It's February now and this is the first one of the year but I know they're doing another one in March so really excited. The books are super cheap. I think they're like 25 cents to a dollar so I'm really excited. I don't have anything specific that I'm looking for but I am just gonna browse around and see if anything looks good. back from the book sale and I'll be honest I was so nervous to film in there because there's there's so many people I feel like so many people showed up and next time I will definitely go when it first opens which is 10 a.m. because I feel like there won't be as many people and there will of course be a lot more to choose from but they had tons to choose from even with a lot of them having been sold and I did feel like most of the ones that were still there were like older authors. A lot of them were like deceased and so I'm not really super familiar with that type of author. Like I'm more of like a new reader. Most of the stuff I read is contemporary fiction and they had a ton of stuff in addition to just books. Like they had puzzles and DVDs and CDs. I was wrong though. The books were like a dollar up to seven dollars but the seven dollar ones were like hardback, brand new. I didn't end up finding anything that sounded good. So I went to walk out and this little lady was like, are you ready to check out? And I was like, I didn't find anything. And she was like, in this whole place, you didn't find a single book. And I just, something about me is that I get so like embarrassed or like nervous easily. And so like I felt my face get red it's like my it's like a thermometer like my face gets red it rises up and I was like I don't know I'm, I'm a newer reader so I'm just not really familiar with the authors and she pulled this other lady over and she was like this girl is like the encyclopedia of books she knows like every author tell her what you want and she'll give you some suggestions so I told her that I really like thrillers and I like romance but preferably closed door romance so not a lot of spice and she walked around and showed me a bunch of authors that she recommended and I I wrote down some of them but she was kind of talking fast so I tried to get what I could. The first is just a book recommendation and the next ones are authors and then the one at the very bottom is the first little lady. She told me that she would recommend this series so here are the recommendations that she gave me but I I still feel like they're not none of them are really like contemporary they're kind of all like older but I still end up getting a couple the paperbacks were only a dollar and then the hardback or like the bigger paperbacks were like two dollars so I first got this one by I don't know exactly how you say her name Debbie McComer it's called The Matter of Marriage and 
again I think this is kind of older and I'm not quite sure what it's about but it basically says this girl Hallie's biological clock is buzzing and she has no prospect of marriage or any guy she ends up falling for her neighbor and apparently he ends up falling for her and it says sometimes friends become lovers sometimes friends become more so I guess like friends to lovers trope and that sounds cute enough so I got it because I was just I just felt bad walking out of there and not using that lady suggestion so I, I will be reading this sometime it looks like a beach read so I might save it for the summer but nonetheless I will read it this one though I think is a little more contemporary it is thick as thieves by Sandra Brown and I'll be honest, I didn't really read the backs of these, but I just like skimmed it. So let me read the back real quick and then I'll give you a synopsis. I had to turn the car on because it was getting a little warm in here. For some reason, my brain's just not working right now. Like I'm just not comprehending what this, the back of this book is saying. But I think it's basically this guy 20 years ago was convicted of a crime and some people now believe that he wasn't the true suspect and he he was wrongly convicted and so I think they're trying to uncover the truth but I think it's a thriller mystery but I'll keep you updated and and I'll let you know what I think when I read them but total is only three dollars so I think that was great and I definitely will be going back to the next sale when it's earlier in the morning and I think my grandma's gonna come with me so maybe I'll do a little vlog with her cuz that would be fun but Anyway, I'll keep you updated on what I think of those books. I realized this vlog is probably going to be so short because, like I said, I was just so nervous to film in there because there's so many people and it just felt weird. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog even though it was short. And I'm so grateful for you being here. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!